Hello friends, this video on electric charges and fields part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos till part 10 before going ahead with part 11. So now we will talk about something called principle of superposition. What will principle of superposition tell us? It will basically talk about the scenarios where we have multiple charges in a system. Till now I defined Coulomb's law considering that there are two charges, right? So the force on one charge due to another charge. But now let us suppose that there are 10 charges in a system. So what will be the net force on one charge? The net force on one charge will be because of the other 9 charges, right? So principle of superposition tells us about the scenario where we have to calculate the net electrostatic force on one charge due to multiple charges present in the system. So the principle of superposition states that the total force on a given charge due to a number of charges is the vector sum of the individual forces exerted on that charge by the other charges. That means let us suppose that if I have one charge, if I have a charge 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So charge on 1 is equal to the vector sum of the forces due to each of these charges. That means force on 1 due to 2 plus force on 1 due to 3 plus force on 1 due to 4 plus force on 1 due to 5. So it is the vector sum of the forces on that particular charge due to all the other charges. Each individual force is unaffected by the presence of the other charges. That means force on 1 due to 2 is independent of how many other charges are present there. Right? So let us suppose if there are 20 charges present. So the force exerted on a particular charge due to some other charge is not dependent on the other charges, other 18 charges which are present there. Right? So, <clears throat> so let, let us look at it in the vector form. Let us suppose that we have a particular charge, say Q1. Since we are considering a system with multiple charges, so let us suppose these are the other charges, say Q2, Q3, Q4 and so on. Similarly, you have many other charges and let us say this is any generalized charge, say Qn. So you have multiple charges in a system. And let us denote their position vectors as R1, R2, R3, R4, so on and this is Rn. Right? So these are the position vectors for each of these charges. So let us calculate, let us calculate the total force on Q1. So let us suppose that we want to calculate the total force on Q1. So according to the principle of superposition, the total force on Q1 will be equal to the force on Q1 due to Q2 plus force on Q1 due to Q3 and so on. That means the total force on 1 that is F1 total will be equal to force on 1 due to 2 plus force on 1 due to 3 plus force on 1 due to 4 and so on till force on 1 due to the nth charge. Right? This is what the principle of superposition states. So now let us calculate each of these values. So let us calculate F12 that is force on 1 due to 2. So before this we will apply Coulomb's law which says K Q1 Q2 divided by R21 square R21 unit vector. Similarly, let us calculate F13. So this will be equal to K Q1 Q3 divided by R31 square into R31 unit vector. Similarly, we can write F1n will be equal to KQ1QN divided by RN1 square into RN1 unit vector. Now, putting all these values, you can find out the expression of F1. So, what will be the expression for F1? So, your F1 will be equal to K you can take common. So, inside you will have Q1, Q2 divided by R21 square into R21 unit vector plus Q1, 
into Q3 divided by R31 square into R31 unit vector plus so on. You go to the nth term which is Q1 Qn divided by Rn1 square into Rn1 unit vector. So this is what you get. So therefore you can write F1 is equal to F1 2 plus F1 3 plus so on till F1n. Similarly you can calculate similarly you can calculate the total force on Q2. So that will be equal to force on 2, 2 due to 1 plus force on 2 due to 3 plus dot 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 till force on 2 due to nth charge. And similarly you can write it for F3, F4 and so on. Therefore in general we can say that force on any ith charge that is denoted by I that is for any charge Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4 or whatever is equal to K into summation of QI, QN divided by RNI into unit vector RNI. Right, so what is I here? I is nothing but values from 1 to N. So if you see this, we have just written the same expression which we wrote here. This expression only we have written it in general form. So this is nothing but the expression, the concise expression for the principle of superposition. So this expression defines the principle of superposition. Right? I think it is clear to you now principle of superposition. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.